How did your world change when when you won that primetime Emmy? Did number one, did the check go up? Number two, did all kind of roles and scripts start getting thrown at you? Because you you're the first African American female to win a primetime Emmy. That that had to be at that time a huge honor. Well, it was for supporting actress, so that's I want to clear that up. It's uh, the first one for supporting actress in a comedy, mm-hmm. because Isabel Sanford got it as a a lead, but nobody ever talks about that because I think we were on strike or something when she won it, so she didn't get her flowers while she lived. So I just want to give her her flowers. But it, yeah, the check went up, but the check was going up anyway. It was fabulous. I had a fabulous time. It was the eighties, honey, oh, and the nineties. But I had a ball. Make no mistake about it. I was not unhappy ever. <laughs> <laughs> ever. Making a lot of money. I don't know who said money. Please. It's much better having money than not. But it um, yeah, it changed everything. I got offered roles, yes. I uh, got movies. Yeah. But I just did them. You know. Mm-hmm. And my ego got out of control for about three years. Yes. I wasn't mean or anything, but I... I had an air of uh, superiority, and I knew it, and I fought it, and I still do. But sometimes ego can crawl right up your neck. See, I'm sitting here. I had to take a <laughs> moment to uh, calm down because before you know it, you're thinking, uh, I'm Jack Hay. Oh. So that was there, but I fight it every day because it doesn't do any good. I don't want to no. be pleasant, you know. Pleasant, but not taken advantage of, but pleasant, as, as pleasant as I can be. So I had that in the 80s. I was that girl, <laughs> the it girl. 